Emily. Mm, 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 mm. You're ready to go. You did so good. You did your job today, Emily. Hey, hey. Hey, are we recording? Yeah. Emily forgot to hit record yesterday, so we recorded, what, four? We did a four-hour marathon podcast. And it was there were so many clips, and it was so funny. And then the <laughs> second it was over, Emily just goes, Bleh. This Why is, does that do? Hold on, guys. Sorry. I didn't hit record. Why the second the red line is blinking? You have a very deep voice for a woman. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, you put that voice filter on everyone thinks you sound do like I? pretty late. <laughs> do I? Pretty late. Do I? Now you know. Talk normally. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Emily, I, I think. I sound like that guy from the character I did, Robert Greenscreen. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Good callback. Yeah. Forgot about that. Miss yeah. that guy. Um, Just kidding. No, I don't. You said you had a dream about me last night, and that, that, that's... Yikes. Not about you, but you were in it. That was about me, probably. Not everything's about you. I'm sorry. Mm, most things are. In it, my life, yeah. In it my was life, actually, too. Oddly <laughs> enough. <laughs> it was actually a dream that we were on our way to report, record the podcast, but the podcast was on Tulane's campus, where I went to school, and... I ran into you on the way there, but I was going the opposite way because I found some sort of giant box of fruit snacks and I wanted to take it home. And so I, I have this giant box of... Yeah, that's, that, that was... <laughs> oh, that was a tough listen. Do you want um, to explain that? Yeah, so we got this buzzer now. So whenever Emily's going on a little bit of a ramble or a rant or something or she's just, you know whatever we can hit this and she has to stop talking but we only get to hit it three times an episode so uh we gotta be careful about how often we use it who are you texting right now i'm not texting anyone i'm writing down a character all right good um yeah so how many we get three three an episode and then a giant like uh, a trapezoid shaped weight labeled 1000 kilograms falls from the sky and flattens her like a slinky. The piano comes out of nowhere <laughs> on your dome. Uh, what's up with you? How's it going? I am I decided I'm no longer the good guy around the office today. You're going I'm bizarro? Going, I'm going full bad boy, if you can't tell with the sunglasses. Bizarro will? Bizarro will. Whoa. I'm sick of everyone holding me to such a high standard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start smoking cigarettes inside. I would, screaming at Edge, eating cheese out of the mousetraps. Uh, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the bad boy. You're bad boy, Angus. You're Gus. Yeah. Ooh. Alter ego. Are you G- kidding me? Gus, dude. This is a good week. Yeah. This is just... a good week, even though you forgot to record the pod. This is turning yeah. out to be a good week. You should have seen us, guys, when she stopped. When you can't, because she wasn't recording. But I was recording on the cameras, just not audio. We were angry. So I we was do an have angry little it. boy. <laughs> yeah, I was angry little boy. I was like an English boy in the 1880s. I just got my like, my toy taken away by my nanny. And I, <laughs> yeah. I, and I, when she wasn't looking, I pushed her down the stairs. <laughs> I got away with it. Rusty texted me and was like, I. Can I listen to the episode? I was like, I'm so sorry, but it's not there. He goes, Oh my god, were they pissed? I go, Um, Will is fine. Liam, dramatic. Well, I was I was upset, but I wasn't upset at you. Yeah, and that was people appreciated. Make, people make mistakes, Emily. Thank you. I was projecting a lot of stuff that happened between me and and other people in my life onto you. Yeah, but before, be, after, and during the podcast. Yeah. To be fair, she's fucked up so many other things on <laughs> girls on guys. That's, That's so true. Like, like just completely fucked. And I'm like, I don't. It's, so well, I had to. Now run. I have an assistant to help me so that I can triple check things, quadruple check things, and not have any ADHD excuses anymore. Uh, so we went hooping recently. Yes. Uh, me and Will hooped. It's so fun playing basketball. We got to do more stuff outside of the office together yeah you and i we kind of like i'm just the problem is i'm so tired i don't want to do anything like no if we hang out it's at your apartment and we just kind of sit down and i go outside yeah. and i get high and i come back in and we watch like which i enjoy don't get me wrong i love that but yeah we uh i want to experience more of the world with you i oh god i agree that's so wonderful yeah i would love that so romantic mm. but <laughs> yeah uh basketball yeah we played pickup basketball it was you, me, Tyler Falbo, Joe Pomeroy, um, Jason Protas, a mm-hmm. uh, couple other cast characters in there. Um, Tyler Falbo, who is, he's a director that works at Friday Beers. He's the guy that. He looks like the monster they find in the Goonies yes. at the bottom. He's like <laughs> seven feet tall. And he's like. 
But yeah, he he's uh, he's the one doing all of our YouTube sketches and stuff. That's why they've been so good. But he is um, toxic, toxic, and the biggest baby. Remember, like I hit maybe three threes in a row. Yeah, I was getting lucky. I'm not good at basketball, yeah. and he, and so I hit the third one. It goes off the glass and goes in. He goes. <laughs> You're just getting lucky. You're just throwing it up off the glass. <laughs> so and I was like, you're 31. You're 30. And we're in the middle school fucking gym. Yeah, what do you expect? He's shooting like 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. He, he's going to make one. Yeah. Oh, what a tr- I remember what a... you made two in a row, and I looked at him, and I just... You know how he does that little that little noise when he's up there? He goes, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like yeah. a... Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. Mm. Like, you mm. can hear him. You can hear his internal monologue running like just a broken record in his head yeah and he has to break it up hmm, okay okay i figured it out uh texted him after the game just like as a joke i was like hey man no hard feelings out there you're a great player we're still good friends and he goes i hate losing toxic so just pick up three on three with like people that have never played before with disabled he was people. like a star high school basketball player he's literally six eight yeah, he's fucking. He's like six six, but he uh, he's taller than that, dude. He's massive. Yeah, he's got that big ass penis too. Remember <laughs> he showed us, dude. He's got he's got he's got some sort of syndrome because his hands are massive. His head is like the Easter Island block. Yeah, he's got a massive beard too. It's pretty gnarly. He's got a nice beard. Remember when we were at, uh, at his apartment? We were hanging out his room one time, and uh, he goes, "Oh, don't open that drawer." Oh, my. And I went, "Okay, I'm gonna open it." And he goes, uh, don't open that drawer. And there's just a Magnum condom sitting in there. M- multiple Magnum Ma- condoms. Multiple. For the amount of times he's had sex. Yeah. One was used and it looked like it had been chewed on, which was interesting. <laughs> um, and I just was, was like. was filled with all of his poop. Yeah. <laughs> so, he so he didn't have to get up and go to his bathroom. Yeah. And I was like, what? What? who won? Who won in this interaction? You did, I guess? Yeah. It, and it was like, I think I made a joke or something that was unrelated to the cabinet. Like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go through your medicine cabinet or something. And he goes, all right, just don't open that drawer. There was no one was thinking of going near. It's not like we were like getting closer to the drawer. Yeah. Psycho. Lunatic. He's doing Jankum in there. (laughs) Yeah, he is a big Jankum guy, dude. Huffing that. He called me unattractive yesterday. (gasps) Did he actually? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. You're fucking fibbing. Well, I said something. He's like, that is the most unattractive thing I've ever heard. Okay, so what you you said does not equate to the second part of your clarification. This is how people go to uh, do life in prison for rape. Yeah. (laughs) Because of women like you. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sure because of what I said, he probably doesn't find me attractive. What would you say? Okay. Do you want... Not that we're like the best judge of... Yeah. I said I wanted to go... I said I wanted to go on Love Island. I love that show. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta side with him. On that. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, well, what's great is he only meant he probably only meant your personality and your interests. <laughs> yeah, nothing about my looks. Right? Exactly. I guess that makes it better. Um, <laughs> Come on, Emily. Yeah, he. That's. I was Tyler. literally like, "Whatever, Tyler. I don't need you to be find me attractive anyway." Tyler is. You like, more, no, it's more like. Whatever, Tyler. I don't need you to find me more attractive anyways. Because <laughs> your voice filter that you use to sound like a woman. Yeah, she does. She has like the Bane mask on right now, but she just sound like she doesn't have a Her name, her name was notes. Igor. No, cut this. I was about to go somewhere I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, take it there. Huh? Come, on, come on, man. Tyler. I guess, dude. Fortune favors the bold. Never forget that. Remember that oh, Matt Damon commercial? That was awesome. I just got goosebumps. I'm covered in them. Looks like I got hives. Looks like I got smallpox. That's mm. how amped I am right mm. now. Tyler's really the only character that's like a radioactive material. Yeah. He's just coursing through his veins. Well, you know what sucks about uh, Joe Pomeroy is our producer for all the sketches and stuff. I'm and so sorry. It's okay. And uh, it stinks that he hates me now. He hates both of us. No, but he really, he has less to connect with on with me because we're different ages more i guess that's how uh, that was a really pathetic way of forming that sentence uh <laughs> but, <laughs> it's not like a first grader yeah. now, in the I was third try- grade. I, yeah he but he likes you more he hates me that is not true no he hates me dude when he when nobody's looking he okay. comes by and he just grabs my penis 
And he pulls it and he goes, who's going to fucking believe you? He, can I give you a life advice to make him like you more? Yeah. Because he does, he loves you. He hates a lot of things about you. Similar to me. There are many things I can't stand about you. Learn how to like print a document. Learn how to turn on your computer. You're going to learn how to learn how to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. You're attacking me. I know how to do all those things. You guys (sighs) blow this whole fucking technology thing way out of proportion because you use it as a weapon. And so we don't know when you're telling the truth or when you're just being fucking lazy. (laughs) I hate that. That Um, little grimace. I love busting. (laughs) I love busting chops. You biggest biggest chop buster on the planet. That's all I do all day is I bust chops. Let's talk about the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went TCU to the Horn Frogs national championship game. TCU got raped by Georgia. Uh, yeah, that was actually uh, shellacking. That was fucking tough to see. Poor was Max Duggan. Max Duggan's the only player I can name on TCU. So poor him. Sorry to the rest of the guys too. I feel bad for all the fans that paid thousands of dollars to fly out, hundreds of dollars on tickets, hundreds of dollars on accommodations. And by halftime, they're walking in the bathroom, so you mean naked jerking off everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will was in the, the public men's bathroom with a belt around its neck, just absolutely purple in the face. I feel like such a pussy. I laughed at my own joke. Couldn't even finish it. <laughs> no, that was good. Actually, though, at halftime, I found the... You know how they hire a sniper at every game yeah. to like look for shooters? Yeah. Went up to him, grabbed a big rock from outside, clubbed him over the head, in the movies, that takes like seven seconds, head to toe, twenty five minute process, <laughs> <laughs> just beating his skull into a pulp. Dude, I can't even look at you right now. You look like a rock star with these glasses on. I'm the I'm the bad boy now. Yeah, you got the Riz. Now haircut. people are gonna be like, "What the heck? Angus is showing up at ten fifteen. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what, what what changed him? I don't know, dude. He's talking." To- He's he's saying dark things lately. People are gonna be like, "That's not like him." That's not like him, dude. He's talking. He's making some vague threats. If anything ever happened to you, everyone would be like, "Wow, man, I didn't see that coming." I'd be like, right here, right here. <laughs> right here uh, I probably should have said something. Um, I have receipts. Never a dull day. Never a dull moment. <laughs> oh my god, me, Max, and Angus yesterday went to a frame store. You're actually gonna love this, Emily. And Max, the whole time, Max Barrett. Uh, founder of Friday Beers, one of the founders of Friday Beers. CCO. Uh, CCO. Uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I got this frame guy. He keeps talking about this frame guy, and he's like, yeah, you got to meet him. You I thought this guy, guy was going to be like, uh, you know, like you could just tell he played pickup basketball on Venice Boardwalk, and he like had tattoos and like. No. It was a character from Rick and Morty. Yeah. So we walk in, and the dude is wearing a beret, a black beret. He's got a gray ponytail peek, peeking out of the beret. And he's, dude, he's got like a German tiny circular glasses. <laughs> yeah. It's like Chet's, but like 10% the size. Yeah. I, I, I looked over at her to like, cause to tell someone the story, and she's just on her phone. Did I you mean, didn't I, record this time? Okay. I, now I'm not, I can't even continue the story. No, I'm, I'm ba- listening. Basically, I, he would like, he talked like his life, he talked like he was a rock star. He'd be like, someone came in and they uh, wanted to hang a jersey, which is normal. And uh, they saw the hockey jersey and they said, hmm, my jersey's way bigger than that. I'll need a way bigger frame. And I'm going, what could be bigger than that? He had a game-worn Shaquille O'Neal jersey. <laughs> Never, Never a dull, a dull moment. moment. He just kept saying I have that. stories to tell. <laughs> it's, I, I was like, Shut dude. Up. It was like his catchphrase. I have stories to tell. Yeah. <laughs> I am not joking. He, I want to make a, a tic tac about it. That guy wanted to... I know we're doing a lot of penis talk today, but that guy would have been like 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I'll, I'll let you do anything to me. That guy doesn't have... A, if you pulled his pants down, it would just be another one of his faces. It would be a grand... Where his penis was. Just, I have stories to tell. <laughs> no, he would have just carved a grandfather clock into his pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his yeah, He's like. actually like a dude from Beauty and the Beast. Like one of the, <laughs> one of the things that didn't fully get turned back into a human. Yeah, like the fucking candle. Yeah. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I've had a bad week. 
Me too. I don't know why. I've been in a funk, dude. I can't write shit. You just said you had a great week. Shut up. Week. I think I, like, after a break. I'm I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't deserve the buzzer for that. Well, then you can't tell me to shut up. I know. You're so wonderful, and I feel bad that I said that. Mm. You should. I do. Uh, we did, Wait, I want to I wanna get into the back pain. Oh, yeah. This is because this is the reason we want to talk about basketball. Yeah. Um, I have a herniated disc, and I've had it for about six years, and it is the biggest plague on my life. And I've had, I have a herniated disc, and I've had it for about 10 years, which is interesting because I'm, I'm only a few years older than you. Mm. So we're, we have similar trajectories in our life. Yeah. I think that's where all of this stems from is our back pain. It really is. I just constant unhappiness. Yeah, because sophomore year, when I got to college, my objective was to never work out and never mm-hmm. do anything active. Like all, I was just like, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I was pretty active in high school. Did a lot of different activities and stuff, and I was like, fuck that noise. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> sophomore year, me and my roommate Zach McGowan uh, just declared, made a pact to never go to the gym once Ooh. or do anything. So that happens. Put on a ton of weight sophomore year. Uh, junior year, you know, I say to myself, I'm going to get back in the weight room. And I just hop back in after a two-year hiatus, thinking I'm just going to do the same shit, head over to the bench press, rep one, fucking throw out my back. It's hurt really bad. And then the worst story was, is I didn't know I fucked up a disc or something. So later that week, I'm taking a shower in the dorm bathroom, and I reach down, like grab some shampoo and completely throw out my back to the point where I couldn't move. Ooh. So I'm locked into this shower. Just sitting like I'm on the ground, <laughs> like a life alert commercial. And I would just hear the door open and I would just yell out. I'd be like, is that anyone in one of my friends? It's Liam. And then eventually I think my buddy Brandon walked in and was like, yeah. And I was like, I was just wrapped in a soaking wet towel. And I was like, take me out of here. Help me. I picture you like the guy from Prisoners just blowing his whistle. <laughs> waiting for someone to come by. Yeah, that's essentially what happened. I had a similar thing where, because when I was in high school, I like outgrew the cage I would have to sleep in. And so my back, I would just curl up. I actually, I slept, uh, I had to sleep in a hermit crab shell mm. throughout my back. Because of what happened to you as a boy? No, I'm kidding. I uh, wrapped my car around a pole when I was on Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have a kid like that or just <laughs> fucking drive on Xanax? in high school and then something terrible happened i don't know why i brought that up no um, i don't think so this is this kid wasn't on xanax but there was a kid i went to high school with who drove his car through someone's living room about five days before christmas through their christmas tree and shit and all the no. presents because he was coming home from hockey tryouts and was doing 90 around 7 a.m hydroplaned went through someone's fucking living room in foxborough you can look it up and yeah, uh up. And so all day, I was like buddies with the kids. So we were all texting him. He wasn't in school. And then last period, we have it up on the projector, the news story and shit. And he just walks into class. As we're talking about it, he's like, yeah, I'm fucked forever, I think. And now he is a prosecutor. He's on the school board. No, he's a cop. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cop and he hits his wife. How about Dana White slapping the shit out of his wife? What a scumbag. I don't know enough about him. That's, he hit his wife. No, I saw a TikTok where someone someone was like, how do you feel that, how do you bounce back from this? And he's like, you don't. I have to live with it. And like the way he was saying it almost was like, he he thought that like that him taking, I don't know. Just the way he was talking about it, I was like, you think that you're okay from this situation. And his whole thing was, he kept saying this was the first time this has happened. Who's believing that? You are? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. So many TikTok comments of just incel young men being like, well, <laughs> she hit him first, man. It's like, dude, have someone jerk you off and stop living with so much hate in your heart. Go get head. You'll hate women less. Uh, does he, is he a woman hater? No, the commenters were, though. They were like, good. All the commenters are. All the commenters in our podcast are women haters. Well, they seem to support me. Well, that's because they didn't. They know that you're deep down. Well, they seem to support me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you understand? Do you catch my drift? Mm-hmm. 
I think you're a great gal and you're a great producer. Let's do t- characters. Can you do- Let's do characters. I got to take these sunglasses off. I can't see. I want to read uh, some Ooh. fan ones too. Yeah. Friends of the pod. I want to read friends of the pod. Friends of the fam. Characters. Friends of the program. As, Ooh, uh, I like program. All right. I have one. All right. Hit you me. ready? Hit me, baby. <clears throat> so my name is Cameron Campus. Great. And you catch him stealing your beers at a party, and he also has a wedgie fetish. Okay. So, Cameron, this, Cameron, this is, this is me. I'm, I, you see me pick up one of your beers, Cameron. Do you mind? Can you Venmo me for that? Because I mean, I bought for everyone. No. You, seriously? <laughs> no. What are you gonna do? Take me outside and hang me by my underwear on a fence post? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You and your friends? I'm going to drag me outside and take turns pulling my underwear over my head. No. Because we could do that right here, right now, pal. I just want you to Venmo me. Oh, my God. What are you going to use? Your teeth to pull my underwear up over my head? I just, like, just. It's a fucking beer, dude. Get over it. Look, we can talk or we can just throw down. You can rip my fucking elastic underwear over my nose and mouth so I can't breathe that well. You know what? Have the beer. Hang me from a tree branch if you want, dude. Take pics of it. Put it online. It's fine. I don't want to do any. Why are you hard? I'm not. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Pull my underwear so hard over my head that it stings my asshole <laughs> and it hurts the. I tip don't want to do pe- any of that. I just want money. Everyone else here paid. Everyone's mad at you right now. Everyone's mad What's- at you. Everyone thinks I should do something, but I'm You not. should, dude. I'm, I wish... Well, oh, my God. Fine. Fine. I'm not going to fight you outside. Fine. Attach my fucking underwear to the back of your car and then drive at eight miles per hour down the fucking gravel <laughs> side road. Okay. That's that's camp campus. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but I think there's something there. That's <laughs> so much better than my character. Dude, my character suck fucking cock this week. Thank I've, God that we... we it was post years. That's based off a uh, a true story. Is I told you my buddy Colin told me in high oh, school. The wedgie fetish. Yeah. In high school, there was this kid. I can't, I can't. I, she's li- no, she's listening. She's so unamused by everything. No, she was laughing. I was looking. All right, good. Uh, every time I look at you, you're just like because uh, I get like I can't focus while staring at you guys the whole time. Fair enough. Um, I think you're doing awesome, Emily. Thank you. Wait, have I told this story on the pod before? Probably. But you I'm tell, do you tell a lot of your stories twice? I know. No, I'm kidding. You don't. Go on. Uh, I don't think you've told it on the pod. This kid that went to high school with my buddy had a wedgie fetish Mm -hmm. and had a secret Instagram where he would post pictures of himself with his face blurred out, just hung from tree branches and playgrounds and just different things that are high up. And then uh, it was, he'd be playing beer pong at a party and he'd hit bitch cup or something or lose a game. And he'd go up to one of the girls and say, um, what, what's my punishment? You're gonna give me a wedgie, and everyone just chalked it up as him being weird or doing a weird bit, and then they found his Instagram, and the kid had to move. What? Okay, so like, what happened? Where? Because I, I I believe it's like when someone has a weird fetish like that, it's like a past trauma that they have now have power over. So what happened to him where he got a wedgie and he got hard? And I'm it's guessing like, it's some Freudian weird shit where his maybe his mom or his, something his papa, his papa. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's scary though. <clears throat> Spooky. Hey guys, taking a quick break to talk to you about BetMGM. As you know, we teamed up with BetMGM this season for all of our picks, everything. We've been doing it all through BetMGM. It's been so awesome the entire season. Super Bowl's coming up. Make sure you're using BetMGM for your apps. How can they get the deal? You can use bonus code BEERS1000 to get $1,000 risk free on your first bet. Wow. And it's Emily, guys. It's Emily doing an ad. And we're having fun, but seriously. We're just having a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. If you're betting, you better be betting with BetMGM, all right? It's the best. Now let's hop back into the episode. Wait, but before... (laughs) No, but seriously, you have to make sure that you're 21 and over. And guys, if you have a betting addiction, there's a lot of resources out there. Get some help. And only bet in a legal betting state. Of course. Follow the rules. Play it safe. Back to the episode. You got one? Yeah. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. That's the title of the pod. Write that down. Xander Goyd. Xander Goyd? Yeah. 
hate all everything I do. No, no, no it's good. <laughs> That's good. I was doing so great. Xander Goyd, there's a he's a task rabbit, and I show up to do something for you, but I have two arm casts on. Okay. Oh, hey. Hi, are you with uh, Task Rabbit? Yeah. Thanks, come right in. What are we doing today? I just needed you to assemble this couch. Sorry, I just moved in. Ooh. Gonna be hard with the... <laughs> <laughs> do you... Uh... Okay. Do you have any... Do you have your tools with you? Yeah, I have all the equipment right there if you just want to... Okay. Um... Do you have the equipment manual? Yeah, it's all set up. It's all right there. Hmm. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you break your arms? Um, on the way here, I couldn't get a ride, so I grabbed onto the back of a mail truck, and I jumped off when I was out front. Oh. Yeah. And you already got casts on them? Well, these are made out of mud and twine and uh, <laughs> the, the leaves in your front yard. You <laughs> notice I pulled down on one of the trees. Oh, wrapped yeah. Wrapped it around my arm. Yeah. Where's your medicine cabinet in bathroom? The, it's for, the, What do you, can I grab it for you? What do you need? I don't think you're allowed to ask me that. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you a one-star review. What? You can't give me a review. I give you a review. You're the task. You're the employee. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> you are good. Um. So can you do this? Do what? Can you make assemble my fucking couch? Uh, that's ableist, <laughs> and I could sue the fucking shit out of you. And you know what? I think I slipped a disc on one of the loose stones in your driveway. Walking what? up here, ah, ow, <laughs> ow, my back. How do you want to settle this? Okay, man, just guys, you can just leave. Just get out of here. Do I still get paid? <laughs> sure. Okay. Can, can I do anything else while I'm here? You can enter me if you want. <laughs> you can enter me if you want. And that's Xander Goyd. <laughs> that was good. I like Xander Goyd. It's fun. That was a fun one. Emily is pissed. <laughs> you didn't like that one? No. Why not? Because <clears throat> you're shut down. Ooh, that was gross. I didn't mean it to sound like that. Ew. Um, <laughs> you can tell me. Chappie um, Greg is my top favorite of yours right now. It's a good one. All right. This. They're not all winners. <clears throat> I'm just glad you had one today. And I hope you have a second. Oh, I have a second. Okay, good. This is uh this is a topical one. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. So I'm an actor accepting an award at the Golden Globes, but I have undiagnosed schizophrenia. So this okay. is what's <laughs> Am I presenting you the award? Yeah, if you want to just hand me something. Yeah. Okay. So I'm walking up, I'm walking up. And oh, I've already announced it. Here you go. Good job. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't prepare a speech because I didn't want to jinx anything. And this is it's it's honestly just an honor to be nominated alongside all these other extremely talented actors. Amazing performances all around. Thank you to my the cast and the crew. Everyone who went to see this movie in theaters, my beautiful family, my wife and kids, I love you. And to my agent, Mark, I know you're trying to kill me and steal my bones and skin so you can replace me. <laughs> And take my life. It's not going to work. It's not going to fucking happen. And I see your shit coming. Um, but this is amazing. I, oh my god, this is. Thank you to the to the son who speaks to me and tells me wise things about the world. And I would just. Oh my god, they're playing them. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. But thank you, thank you to everyone who believed in me. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> That's good. I like that. that was one. great. Okay. Um. Whoa! No stop. <laughs> oh, I liked that one. I was giggling. That was great. I just, I well, it's 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 one of those where like I kind of have to just go quiet and let you ramble because the joke is in your ramble. Yeah, I mean, I don't. So know. So I was I was laughing. All right, but I do think that you should kill yourself. I don't think you have much value to me. Or I really Emily. don't, dude. God, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna tie a computer screen to your face or nail it in. Just run Chad GPT through you. That would, it would probably be better than what I come up with. That's what I'm saying. I haven't written anything funny in three and a half weeks. Me neither. I fucking... I'm, I'm on a dry spell. I am eating dick all the time. I can't write... I sat down in my apartment last night. Nothing. Our TikTok sucks. Yeah. We Our fucking IG blow. We, we blow. Actually, no, I really like Blind Bully. That's one of my all-time favorites you've written. 
Blind Bully's good. Okay, I have a really good character now. Wait, want to? Ex- well, we can ex- want to explain Blind Bully real quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll give a tease. Yeah. Because it's going up on probably we'll probably upload it tomorrow. Yeah. So the pod will come out tomorrow. tomorrow There's not that many people that watch it, then we'll be fine. No, I know. I was just I was gonna do a bit about I was setting that up to do a bit about the forgetting to record. Oh my bad. No, whatever. Then it was no, it wasn't that funny. (laughs) Also, she knows I don't actually care that that much that she didn't record, so wouldn't have hit her that hard. Did you do something new with your hair? I was gonna say I was gonna be mad at you if you didn't say anything because I spent four hundred dollars on my hair yesterday. Could have said yes. Could have said yes I did. Yes, I did. Do you, you like spent, it? You spent four hundred dollars on your hair. It was three fifty for like a cut and color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the buzzer. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Do your character now that that's done with. All right, this is uh, the worst podcast producer on the planet. Cool. Okay, ready? Ha ha. No one's going to think that's funny because no one can see me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it is It is exactly what you do. Say so. Okay, so... Uh, no, 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 it's, it's not a good character. <laughs> it's good. I, I like it. I don't have any... I didn't prepare a second character. Fuck you. I thought of it when you said you better have a second <clears throat> character and then I wanted to hurt your feelings. Mm. Um, but it was a defense mechanism because I'm insecure, mm-hmm. and so I projected that onto you, mm-hmm. and you, like water off a duck's back, Emily. Um, you've, got, you've got thick skin. Uh, I have, uh, I, I got another character. Um, it's the sorting hat scene from Harry Potter, except for that the sorting hat also announces the student's uh, sexual orientation as well as their house. This is, I like this. So do you want to just put that p- leather pillow on your head and I'll do a yeah. voiceover? <clears throat> I'm so nervous. Please not Slytherin, please not Slytherin, please not Slytherin. Hmm. Difficult to say. Hmm. Gryffindor, bisexual. I didn't know that. I didn't know that yet. Next. Should I do another? <laughs> yeah, I want to do one more. All right. This is, I'm Malfoy in this one. I'm all smirking. <laughs> this is how Malfoy does it. Hmm. Hmm. Another Malfoy, I see. Hmm. Slytherin. Straight mostly, but will have gay experiences towards the end of his career at Hogwarts. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, it's good. All right. I think I have another one, maybe. Let's do some fan ones. Let's see what the friends of the pod. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. I have stories to tell. Stories I to have tell. stories to tell. Um, You sent these to us, correct? Yes, I did. I haven't read them yet. Um, these are actually all fucking so far funny. Uh, Doctor Hugh Fitzright, urologist that assumes every patient he sees is the guy that is the guy his wife cheated on him with, <laughs> and makes passive aggressive comments about it while examining their dicks. Awesome. <laughs> um. Oh, he's got multiple. Yeah. Good job, John. Dude, he, John, Johnny Auburn. Johnny, That's a name right there. Johnny Auburn's another one. That's a name right there. I like this. Uh, <laughs> I like this one too. Uh, Flaky the clown, a clown that recently became a mortician who mislabels all the bodies with clown names instead of their real names, and is having trouble helping the FBI identify the body they're looking for because his made-up clown names. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so good. Um, we'll read one. <laughs> oh man, this guy, dude, this guy's a savant. We need to hire this guy full time. Did you tell me to read one? Uh, yeah, I want to do the Tony one from Johnny Auburn. Tony Siciliano, Italian mobster that's an elementary school arts and crafts teacher, but he doesn't change the way he acts or talks around the children and is getting frustrated trying to help them with their holiday art projects for the parents. That's good. Mm. I, I That's that's one you got to act out, but that's a solid, solid character concept. <laughs> oh, dude, this one's awesome. 
Uh, shout out Buzzard. Raz Mataz. Old timey athlete that can lift a hundred pounds off the ground and do a hula hoop three times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Josiah Preck, Amish car mechanic that is afraid of cars and tools and lights. Thinks cars are powered by mice. <laughs> um, Tristan Litz, funeral DJ. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, this one's great. Uh, Logan Phillips, this one's great. Toby Tostinos, unable to eat anything without having someone blow on it to cool, <laughs> to cool it. Every bite, parentheses. <laughs> no matter the temperature and refuses to do it himself. Scenario, he sits next to you at the movie theater and is constantly asking you to blow on the handfuls of popcorn for the entirety of the movie. Eventually, he stops asking... And just holds it to your mouth repeatedly. Fucking, that's awesome. <laughs> just while you breathe on it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This one is so good. <laughs> Which one? Okay. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're trying to tell your... <laughs> oh, my God. How do you say this? You're trying to tell your roommate, Stu Pubis, about what happened at work. And after every sentence, he says, told ya. About things he's definitely never said before. <laughs> Down to mundane details. <laughs> Told ya. That was good. Shout out to B.Brown77. Brian Brown, that was a great one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this one, I love this. This, this is by the same guy, Brian Brown. Uh, you're Thomas Hightower. You're a blind. You are blind and you own a lonely old comic book store. And you come to believe the next customer to walk in is actually your old nemesis, Bert Finkelstein, here for revenge. <laughs> Every customer is Bert Finkelstein. <laughs> Bert Finkelstein. Um, that was fun. Those were good. Those are awesome. Let's do those. Those are send them more to the almost every right week. Pod. They're better than the ones I come up with, and I feel like ugh, I feel like going to SoFi Stadium and jumping off the fifth floor. <sighs> How about how slippery that was? That place was. I'm sure they got a few lawsuits on their hands. I really should have just eaten shit, and just fucking taken out. Honestly, dude, our backs were so fucked up, we could have easily had a lawsuit. Yep, yep. Cut um, that, cut that, Emily. We're actually gonna do that. Oh, I saw an interesting news story. Um, a couple. So last night, me and me and Jason protest. My roommate, uh, just decided to throw in the local news for a little Wild. bit, just to see. I haven't watched the local news in years. Mm -hmm. First story. I turn it on. Woman living in Koreatown, walking home after celebrating her birthday around midnight uh, last week, entered her apartment to discover that a man had broken in, trashed it. Then he threw boiling water on her, took a shit in her apartment and left and was later arrested. That was the first story on the news. I laughed so fucking hard. I mean, it's horrible for that lady, but... The first thing I see on the news, it was so fucking funny. Second news story. Uh, You're such a goblin. Was a cop, a female cop, at, a, at around six or seven male cops, arrested for running train on her at the precinct. I saw that. And the first image they show of the girl is with her husband. And that, and he looked like a dude that's going to get They knew cocked. what they were doing, doing that. You know when you look at a guy, not that I'm some sort of coxman, but you see a man and you go, there's no way you could even come close to being good at anything sexual. No, you you fuck. I own a mirror. Y you fuck. You probably do weird dark shit. You probably got some weird things going on. I don't even want to picture that. I'm throwing up. I don't even want to push that for a You're making a mental image right now, ain't ya? Ain't ya? Emily. What's up? You get one more. Can we check in with Rusty? Mm-hmm. Let's check in with Rusty. I was trying to tell you in the last podcast that I wanted to get <laughs> in Miami and from this guy josh like he has a connect and um he was like taking forever to answer me and i like really wanted them right away and he's obsessed with angus so i was like oh well angus said he wants them too and he's like oh my god i'll get on it right away <laughs> if you look at the footage you can watch my smile 
go from a smile to a frown as you said that. I was really enjoying your story. And then it just bummed me out. Well, I told Whitney and she said she you thought you would think it was funny. Oh, I just, Emily, you have to understand that I hate myself. I hate myself more than, I don't know, probably more than like ISIS would hate a, an American. Genuinely. It's real. So when I hear that, I want to, I was telling Liam, I want to lock that door and I want all of us to burn alive in this podcast studio and no oh. one be able to get in. Oh yeah, I got to read the text Will sent yesterday um, about the pod. It was very good. I was in a dark place. Yeah, it was. I said, um, let's talk about us hooping tomorrow on the pod. And he goes, what I really want is for the podcast studio to catch on fire with you, me and Emily trapped inside and nobody can help. They can only watch the window. Like watching an aquarium drain while the fish suffocate. Um, and then he sent me a, a a song that that was a gnarly song. Yeah, it was, I literally almost called Catherine. I'm like, is he gonna do it tonight? Like, what? That was a good song. I know, but it was terribly sad. E- it was definitely sad. It was great. Don't get me wrong. It fired me up too. But I, I told you, I was like, this makes me want to fucking sprint into fucking traffic. I didn't think it was that sad. That's. I've heard way you know. sadder songs. Ordinary Man's way sadder than that. And that's a gnarly, that's a banger. Ordinary Man, no. Ordinary Man's a, that's a great song. I still so can't, I'll never forget that fucking car ride to that movie. All right. Uh, Batman. Yeah. Shout out to when we went to Batman and I took too many edibles and couldn't pay attention for the first 40 minutes because <laughs> I was having a panic attack. So I had to go back and watch Batman again just to get the first 40. So I, I was sitting there hyperventilating freaking out about my own life the first 15 minutes of the batman uh is probably my favorite i i like it more than the the one with heath ledger where they're robbing the bank i yeah i agree i i I don't even know why it's i think it's just because it's the best world building they've ever done and robert pattinson is the perfect batman he will become a good bruce wayne right now christian bale is obviously the best bruce wayne there's but he doesn't play bruce wayne he's always the detective batman he will they, be. They're focusing more on Batman than Bruce Wayne, right? Which but in the, like. in the second one, he realizes that he needs to play the little billionaire a little bit more. We gotta go at midnight. <sighs> oh my god! I f- cannot fucking wait. Literally right. can't wait. Anyways, let's check him with Russ. Uh, first things first. This kid's eyes are piercing blue. Never a dull moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've got stories to tell. These never connect. Every day we're in here, I see Emily grow to hate me just a little more. And it takes something out of my heart. Hmm. Maybe start being nicer. Anyways. I agree. I, I'm a, I think I'm a bad guy. Hey, you're not a bad guy. You're, you're all right, guy. How are you doing, guys? Um, Shannon's and I are having a, a barefoot class day. Because it's liberal arts school. And that's not frowned upon here, which is weird. Um, I'm, I'm doing a, a beer review now, and it's for non-alcoholic beer. Uh, I don't know. So I'm not really sure ooh, ooh. how that one's going to go. You want to try that? Okay, no, it's a non-alcoholic beer. Yeah. He said, I'm on my way to class right now, and I'm doing a not. I'm doing a beer review. Non-alcoholic. But then he prefaced, yes, my bad. Um, I'm, I'm not, not drunk, drunk yet, so I'm not, I'm not like full, fully grasping the concept of this whole non-alcoholic thing, but I, I like it so far. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. See you guys soon. Um, yeah, I can explain the concept of non-alcoholic beer to you. Uh, it's purpose, purposefully lacking in alcohol content so that the person drinking it doesn't get drunk. It's for folks I, with problems. I don't think I could have explained it better. It's for folks with problems. Problems. Here's the thing. There's still alcohol on them. A little bit. Point, a little bit. 0.1% or something. Yeah. So you still get a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe it tricks your body. Oh, God. He did a Rusty. I saw he was on a FaceTime with a bunch of other TikTok, the young TikTok uh, kids, you know? Who? Um, I'm not good at usernames, but uh, a bunch of all the popular young men on TikTok that kind of do niche things. Like that, that kid... Uh, that's really good at everything. I think he was on the call. You ever seen that kid? Every video he posts, he's doing just like a fucking triple backflip off ice skates or some shit. It's crazy. Never seen it. He's like the coolest Why dude. Why were on they the on a call? Probably just talking shop, talking about the craft. Mm. 
talking about chicks. This is this Rusty's last semester in college. Yeah, right. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Hope to die. Um, do you think him and Willie D will move out here together? I don't know. We should do a Willie D check in too at some point. I'm curious about him. I'm gonna call him right now. Give just, him a ring. I just like see that what's idea. up. If I would he, imagine he's in some sort of. I feel like he's one of those guys where you call him, and every time you speak to him, he has like, he's at least a hundred miles from where he was the last time you spoke to him, doing something random. You know what I mean? You got friends like that. Yeah, they're just like you. Just wonder how do you operate day to day. Hey, this is Will and Ellen. Just leave me a message or shoot me a text, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Did he just like silence your call? The is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. I can't even leave a message. Texting Jack right now. I'm FaceTiming him. If you don't answer, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Will Donnellan is. I'm calling him back. Finished. Period. He's probably in class. I don't care. Answer the fucking phone. Yeah, get it. Walk out of class, bro. This could be an emergency, dickhead. <laughs> he better answer. Hey, this is Will Donnellan. You fucking scumbag, Willie D. God damn you. We're going to find Rusty. out call We're gonna find out something bad happened. Yeah, if let me call Rusty. Let's see if Rusty answers. Rusty will answer. Rusty always answers me. What? Guess what his first words are going to be. Yeah. Yo, brother. <laughs> what up? How's it going? What's up? Good, how are you? Not much. We're just on the pod right now. Just wanted to call you and say what's up. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, dude. Uh, I heard... Uh, forgot to hit the record button yesterday she did <laughs> she did but she's done such a wonderful job in general that it doesn't matter yeah we're trying to we're trying to take active steps to be nicer to emily because people are saying that we're really mean to her and it's kind of hard to watch i'm i'm on the sixth step you think it's hard to watch my friends think it's funny well then i'm then i'm going right back to it then uh wait let's do good here cover your ears let's do good cop bad cop all right emily. just moving forward okay but you never know who's the good cop who's the bad cop if Ru there's two of them or if there's just one. Rusty, what are your plans tonight? Tonight? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. We're about to hit the pool. So, see where that goes. I just started drinking. Movie so, star. Nice. Um, how's, how's, how's the lady love life life going? You, what's going on? Uh, I made like a... I made like a... I, I fucked up the other night. Um... And like, but now it's back. It's back on track. I just had a hiccup. What happened? What? Well, so like, I I got I was like hooking up with someone that I shouldn't have been. Ooh. And I got I got seen. <laughs> who who? Uh, why weren't you supposed to be hooking up with this gal? Uh, I just like it just wasn't 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 a good wasn't a good look. And then I was like, uh, I was like. She, I got, I got seen. Who like, saw you driving her, home, driving her home? The girls across the him. Oh no! <laughs> at, at, tackle. At practice, and they were like, they like texted me after. Jesus Christ, Rusty, are you dating this other girl that you're that you're not supposed to be? No, 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 no. Okay, good, good, good. Were you, uh, were you stepping out on another girl? No, 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 no. So what's the beef? What's the beef? Can you explain? There, there, was, there wasn't any beef. It was just like it was just like I perhaps had like other things in the works, and um, and then I got I just got exposed, and it, it also maybe wasn't the person that I should have been getting caught with. Yeah, I, I hear you. Who's the lunch lady? Yeah, who's probably like a pregnant thirty six year old? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rusty's getting busy. Emily said Rush Shut is getting. Emily. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to call and just check in. We just called fucking Willie D and he didn't answer. Actually sent me to voicemail quickly twice. Piece of shit. <laughs> I picked up fairly. I feel like I pick up your calls fairly quickly. You always do. And I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, I'll let you guys get back to it. All right. Later, brother. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. All right. Aw. Um, you love each other. Yeah, bro. You got to tell your homies you love them. Hug your bros. Hug your bros. Check our website. Check in on your bros at all times. Check our website to buy Hug Your Bros shirts. How Jack's going to cream his pants when he hears me say that. Yeah. What else has been? Also, follow could be the move. Yes. A new account we acquired. 
From the very funny Bobby Dolan. Bobby Dolan. Works here. Um, He's the man in that account. Just rules. go look up the account. Could be the move. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, what an episode. We laughed. We cried on the inside. We're learning to love Emily one step at a time. She's making it hard. <laughs> no, she's a, she's a battle axe. I think though. we were uh, nicer this episode to you. Do you think so? No. I think we should get a scorecard from you after the episode. Ooh, I like that. We can review it. Like, you know when athletes have a post-game interview and they're looking at their box score? Yeah. I want to see, like, you put a tally every time I say something that makes you giggle. Every time I say something that makes you, that fills you with dread. Every time. I, I like that. Every time you feel like you're being gaslit. Ooh, we had a lot of that episode. Oh, shut episode. Oh, shut up. Is this your dog? Yeah, that's my chicken. Chicken. Your mom texted you. Can I read it? Yeah. What's your passcode? I'm not telling you my passcode, but you, oh, I can unlock it for you. Cut it out. I won't. I'm, I'm never going to remember it. Burn that into my brain. It's probably about my haircut. It is tattooed on the back. Can I open your family group chat? Yeah. It's a picture. Your mom sent, sent her pickle, pickleball. Uh something with pickleball she killed a lot of calories oh love that for her can i go through more of your texts no who's eric i feel my like you're, i feel like your parents are probably really fun people oh my god they're so fun can i scroll agree? down here or is this inappropriate inappropriate for sure i mean they must be great people because they raise you oh nice of you um so mark that because i made you mark that down and make, yes you got any cool weekend plans I have a couple us. friends in town, a couple friends visiting. Never mind. Who, the girl that was here yesterday? Yeah, she's one. She had a weird name, right? It's just Mara. It was Mara, that's I weird. I think name. Zaria. Yeah. <laughs> Zorlax. Was, her name was Titus, right? Yes. Queen of the Andals. I showed her like like your some of your content, she didn't really understand it. And I showed her Will's page, and she's like, oh my God, he has so many followers. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> you trying to hurt my feelings or something? Yeah. You trying to hurt my feelings? Yeah. Well, it worked. Yeah. You might have just ruined my day. You ruined my day. I... <sighs> oh, uh, Nick Jonas. Another follow update, Nick Jonas. Who cares? He's awesome, and I loved... I loved the Jonas Brothers when I was a kid. Me too. You Fuck, still dude. love them? Year 3000? Well, I, I haven't really listened to their... Are they still make music together? Yeah. That's they awesome. They like stop for a while and then they go back to it. I probably know every single one. They just there. performed at the last... Not Super Bowl, but something. Maybe Super Bowl. Something like that. Something like that. Dominic Fike just followed me too. That's sick. Love but Dominic isn't, Fike. But isn't he like... Didn't he just get like canceled for something? No. Are you just throwing that out there like you don't really know? No, okay, I think he did. No. Not my book. Not canceled to me. He did. No, he didn't. What did he do? You I can't just look. say that. You can't look just it up. Say I don't have my phone. Look it up. I don't know. It might. It might. I might have read. So... All right, look it up now because we have to figure this out, okay. or we have to cut it. I saw uh, Nick Jonas at a Cowboys game once. I was uh, five feet away from him, and he had no idea. But I was uh, was staring at him the whole time. Well, at least Fringe guy's doing well on Instagram. Is it or is it doing bad? Because you say it's doing well, but I know you're trying to protect me because you know that I'm going to hurt myself tonight. No, it's doing well. No, it isn't. Is it not? You dirty scumbag, dude. I hate How myself. How long has it been up? Oh, 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 I'm going to hurt myself. I'm going to hurt myself and someone has to stop me and save me. You oh, guys he made like a disturbing comment about Amber Heard. Wow, dude, end his career. Fucking who cares? It's probably hilarious. No, it was like, um, let's see. Oh, he said on stage one day, like, I remember seeing this on TikTok. Yo, so I'm just going to come straight out and say it. I actually think Amber Heard is hot, dude. Cancel him. I know it's not a popular opinion, and it's not the focus at the moment, dude, but I've been having these visions of her just beating me up. I think it's hot. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's okay, so we're going to have a learning moment here. You just said, didn't he get canceled? And you were ready to just throw that out there. Yeah. This is And we were we weren't gonna look it up and people were gonna listen to the pod and go, Wow, I didn't know he got canceled. You're He must have done an R. He must have done an SA. You're an agent That's of That's what people were gonna say. 
This is a learning moment because I think you're such a good lady that uh, we're learning together. I think I think your hair looks good. I think yay. Emily, I think you look beautiful. Aw, yay! You look. You're a great, gorgeous gal. All you, right, you look like cut it out. Diana, the goddess of okay, the. I'm going to throw up. The hearth, the one of them, Persephone or if Aphrodite. If anyone on this podcast wants to be my boyfriend and they're attractive. Nope, no one. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for listening. Yeah, that's it. You can't use this podcast to get penis. <laughs>